Okay, so I decided to uh, go ahead and burn in this clay a little bit to help dry it out. And you can see I was running it using the hair dryer, and I burned about a uh, quarter tank or not quarter tank, quarter bag of charcoal, and it got nice and hot and nice and dried out. So I went ahead and decided I would try and refine a little bit of aluminum uh, from some cans. And yeah, it works. It uh, it melted it down quite nicely. If I'd had more charcoal, probably would have got it hot enough to really refine it a lot better. But you can see I've got a nice little, fairly pure chunk there. A lot of this is just slag. But um, yeah. So as a proof of concept, this works. Um, just dirt, dirt and water together to make this insulation. Now I don't know how hot these sides got. I mean, it's radiating heat, like it feels quite warm. I don't know, I'll throw some water on the side there. Actually, the water's not sizzling or anything. Maybe up at the top it is a little bit, but down the sides it's not... Yeah, it's warm. I mean, it's pretty hot. I wouldn't hold my hand there, but it's not going to catch anything on fire. So, yeah, this works. I'm going to get some more charcoal and actually try and cast some stuff in aluminum using this little forge. But uh, yeah, just dirt and a little bit of sand works a heck of a lot, well, a heck of a lot cheaper than plaster of Paris. And it seems to be holding together after this first firing. So we'll see how many firings I can get out of this particular clay before it just starts to disintegrate. But the good thing about it is it's infinite, just like Luna's energy. She never runs out of it. It's infinite. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Like it if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. Tell me what you like or didn't like in the comments. And subscribe for more videos just like this one.